Hey guys, how y'all doing? Bionicosaurus here, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the Safari Limited Coelophysis. Now, of all these new 2017 Safari figures that I have reviewed so far, this is probably one of the slightly less exciting ones. But nonetheless, this figure is really, really surprising me. Since I've got it, I've just been enjoying it more and more, having it in hand, having it in person to really look at and inspect. I've found that this is really a great little figure. And one of the coolest things about it, and the first thing that I'd actually like to talk about in this video, is that it actually represents Coelophysis. That is honestly one of the neatest things about it, because Coelophysis is such an underrepresented dinosaur. It's one of the oldest dinosaurs, hailing from the ancient Triassic period, and you see it all the time in books, in documentaries, and yet figures for it are really, really scarce. I think GeoWorld made one, but GeoWorld is pretty mediocre, and I can't even really remember that figure to be honest. But this figure looks absolutely awesome. It is a tripod, and that is one thing that surprises me. I really didn't think it was going to be, and uh, I thought maybe it was just mine, but they mentioned on the Dinosaur Toy blog that this is a tripod, and actually the reviewer said the same thing on the blog, maybe it's just mine, but I don't think it is. Because, I mean, we have two now that are confirmed tripods, and uh, that, that's a little bit unfortunate, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It reminds me of some of the Carnegie figures like the Concavenator or the Cryolophosaurus, where, yes, they do balance on the tips of their tails, but it doesn't look awful. They aren't rearing up too much, and I think this figure does it even better than either of those. Uh, the coloration is one really striking thing. I mean, this entire figure is almost all just one bright shade of orange. And it could maybe use a little more nuance. Uh, maybe some blue paired with that orange would have been nice, but as it is, I think it's fine. I like the stripes on the end of the tail, the white and black contrast looks really, really good, I think. I also like, uh, similar to the Raptor, they have green for some of the scaly parts. And I say some, because it is only some. Uh, while the hands and the feet are green, the muzzle, the snout, is actually a really, really pale blue. And I'll just zoom in right now to give you a better look at that, because I think it looks really nice. And there is a bit of a better look at that really, really pale blue. It's kind of like a powder blue, almost just a gray or a white. But I think that looks really, really good. And uh, while we're in this close-up shot, let us take some, some time here to really take a good look at the sculpted detail. Look at that, look at that eye all the little scales and feathers, and even the teeth. Uh, one thing that's pretty cool about this figure that I personally like is that the uh, mouth is actually molded shut. It's not articulated and just shut for the moment, it is always shut. And the only other figure I can think of like that is actually the Safari Limited u Tyrannus, which you should all know by now is one of my favorites. And that is one of the things that I love about it and that I in turn love about this figure. Here's a bit of a look at the rest of the texturing. I like that they haven't given it wings or anything like that. They haven't given it even any sort of display plumage, just very shaggy, primitive feathers. And that is how it should be for something like a Coelophysis, where feathering it is a bit speculative just because it was a very primitive early theropod. It is very good that they went for this sort of proto-feather dino fuzz. And uh, I think it looks really, really good. I think the green of the feet and hands really contrasts well with the orange and white and black of the body. Like, that's... you're kind of going from one end of the color palette to the other, and, and that just looks really great. Green and orange, always a good combination. Now, I know I just commented on the feathers, but I'd, I'd like to talk about them a little bit more. And, uh, not so much the feathers on the figure, but just the fact that feathers are there. I'm really surprised that Safari did this. I'm not necessarily against it. Although we definitely don't have any sort of direct or even inferred evidence of Coelophysoids and other really primitive theropods having feathers, it's not out of the question. It is perfectly plausible. And I, I think it's cool to have not only a good Coelophysis, but a Coelophysis with a very interesting uh, sort of artistic license and a very interesting piece of speculative science as well. Now, real quick, let's go through some size comparisons as per usual. Here is the new Safari Limited Coelophysis next to the Papo Allosaurus. There we have the Safari Limited U Tyrannus again as per usual. And for the unique figure, 
to compare it to because as always I have those two figures the Papo Allosaurus and the the Utyrannus and I always have a unique figure and I, I wasn't sure what to do for this guy but uh, I finally decided to grab off my shelf the only other Triassic dinosaur I think I have which is the Carnegie Pladiosaurus. So in conclusion my rating for this figure is a straight A. I'm not giving it an A plus like most of the other Safari Limited 2017 figures because it's not extraordinary, it's not mind-blowing by any means, but it is still a great little figure with very few objective flaws, if any. And beyond that, it's awesome to finally have a good reconstruction of Coelophysis in toy form. Thank you for watching and Bionicle Saurus, signing out.